All right, the lesson we're doing today in Ray's Arithmetic is lesson number 13. And looky there, 13 is written as a Roman numeral. Remember how I said that in the book, the lesson numbers are written as Roman numerals with letters? Well, that's XIII. -I -I. X is 10 and 111. So you know what? That's kind of an addition problem built in right there. If you add it up, it makes 13. So that's how we write 13 in Roman numerals. Okay, getting on to lesson 13 is some more addition problems. We'll war warm up with a few of these like last time, and then we'll do some fun word problems where you get to use your imagination as we do our addition. So let's get our board ready to do some addition problems, and I'll read them off and put them on the board here as we go through. You memorize them and get to know them really well because you're going to use these probably the rest of your life, just to let you know. Well, let's do the first one. Three and one are four. So I'll put up here three and one are four. And the next one is one and three are four. One and three are four. And then we've got three and two are five. Three and two are five. Two and three are five. Two and three are five. Three and three are six. Three and three are six. Three and four are seven. Three and four are seven. Four and three are seven. Four and three are seven. Then we've got three and five are eight. Three and five are eight. And five and three are eight. Five and three are eight. Okay, three and six are nine. Three and six are nine. Six and three are nine. Six and three are nine. Three and seven are ten. Three and seven are ten. And seven and three are ten. Seven and three are ten. Okay, let's continue on our next board. Three and eight are eleven. I don't have to put a line here because we just have a few more left, so let's put them up here at the top. Three and eight are eleven. Eight and three are eleven. Eight and three are eleven. Three and nine are twelve. Three and nine are twelve. Nine and three are twelve. Nine and three are twelve. Three and ten are thirteen. Three and ten are thirteen. Ten and three are thirteen. Ten and three are thirteen. Okay, that will warm us up a little bit for the word problems, which we'll do next. So let's look at number one here. One, number one says Julius had three cents and he found two more. How many cents did he have then? All right, so here's Julius. We'll put his name right here. Julius. And he starts out with three cents. Let's find a good color for cents. Let's say, of course, cents are pennies, so let's say these are three copper pennies. That's what three cents are. So Julius has three cents, and he finds two more. Okay, so we've got, let's just put him over here. He finds two more cents. So he starts out with three, and then he finds two more. How many cents does Julius have altogether? Three and two are how many? Five. Right. Okay, that's an easy one. Let's go to the next one. That's number two, and that says, Francis has three dimes in his hand and three in his pocket. How many dimes does he have? Okay, well, let's put Francis's name up here since he's the star of the show right now. Francis. Okay, he's got dimes, which are kind of silvery, so I'll get a kind of a silvery color. So let's say he's got three dimes. Here's one, here's two, here's three. Three dimes are in his hand, and he's got three in his pocket. How many does he have all together? Well, he's got three in his hand. Here's three. Let's say these are the three that are in his pocket. Okay, so three dimes plus three dimes. Three and three are how many? Three and three are six. 
right. Okay, let's do the next one. Number three, <clears throat> pardon me. Emma has four apples. If her mother gives her three more, how many apples does she have then? So Emma starts out with four apples. Okay, so Emma, we'll put Emma's name up here. Emma, she's got four apples. I need a red pen for an apple. So four apples, let's say, uh, let's say there's an apple, there's an apple, there's an apple, there's an apple. So she's got four apples, her mother gives her three more. So mom gives her one, two, three. So she's got four apples, her mom gives her three more. So four and three are how many? Four and three are seven. Okay, let's do the next one. And number four is there are three pairs on one limb and five on another. How many pairs on both limbs? So let's just say, oh, this is a tree limb here, and this is a tree limb here. And we've got some pairs. Let me just pick a little color for the pairs. Let's say there's three pairs on one limb, so let's say this is a pair. So there's a pair, there's a pair, and there's a pair. On the other limb, we got five. One, two, three, four, five. So we've got three here. We've got five over here. Between those two limbs, how many pairs are there all together? Three and five are eight. You got it right. Okay, let's do the next one. Number five says, Mary has six pens and Belle has three. How many pens do they both have? Okay, so here's Mary. And here's Belle. Belle. Mary has six pens. Belle has three. Pens are easy. I think we'll just kind of draw them like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. And Belle has three pens. One, two, three. So Mary has six. Belle has three. Between the two girls, how many pens do they both have? Six and three are nine Okay, let's do the next one. Number six. Henry has three books and Oliver has seven. How many books do they both have? Well, Henry here. Henry's a reader, so he was reading three books. So let's say these are three books. And Oliver is a bigger reader. He really likes to read, and he reads seven. He has seven. So here's one book, two books, three books, four, five, six, seven books. All right, so Henry's got three. Oliver's got seven. How many is that all together? Let me put it right here. Three and seven are ten. All right. Now number seven says Charles caught eight rabbits and Samuel caught three. How many did they both catch? So here's Charles, and here's Samuel. All right, Charles, and I'm not going to try to draw rabbits. I'm just going to say, well, you know what? Maybe I can kind of pass off something as a rabbit here. Let's say Charles has eight rabbits. He caught eight. Well, he's a good rabbit catcher. So he's got one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, seven. Are you pretending these are rabbits? Eight. Okay, Charles caught eight, Samuel caught three. Okay, so Charles has eight rabbits, Samuel caught three. Well, it's not a bad haul for the day. How many rabbits did the two of them catch all together? Eight and three are eleven. Okay, that's a lot of carrots. Let's see, number eight is how many are three cents and nine cents? Let's do that one next. How many are three cents and nine cents? Well, let me get my copper colored penny coloring pen. So three cents or nine cents? So we got three cents and we got nine cents. Hmm. So we've got three cents here, 
we've got nine cents here. How many is that all together? Three and nine are twelve. Twelve cents. Okay, let's do the last problem in lesson thirteen says my pencil cost ten cents and my pen cost three cents. How much did both cost? So I've been to the office supply store and I bought me a pen and a pencil. And I think I'll just Mm, what color should we use for those, the pen and the pencil? Ah, we'll just stick with basic white. Okay, so let's say, here's my pencil. Does that look kind of like a pencil? Okay. My pencil costs 10 cents. And my pen, oh, let's just say it's a plain old ballpoint pen. A little clicker, clicker button and a clip to put on your pocket. So there's my pen, and my pen cost me three cents. So the question is, how much did both of them cost together? Both the ten cent pencil and the three cent pen. Altogether, ten and three are ten and three are thirteen. Thirteen cents altogether. Alrighty, well that is lesson number 13 with some addition problems. We'll continue this in lesson 14 next time around. So we'll see you then, and you can always go to raisearithmetic.wordpress.com for more information, or you can also get there by raisemath.com as well. So we'll see you next time.